this video, we will scrutinize about origin of life. You might wonder how life begins on earth. In this context, two substantial and contradictory ideas rationale for the origin of life on earth. These are, special creation, theory of evolution. We will discuss first, the concept of special creation. Believers of special creation concept are called creationists. They believe that, God created universe and man, a supernatural event, at a particular time and past. This theory explains that, every species was individually created by God, in the form in which it exists today. Species are not capable of any change, so this theory rejects any other possible ideas like evolution. It rely completely on inspiration, meditation, and divine revelation. Now, we will explore concept of evolution. Supporters of evolution, are called evolutionists. They believe that, universe and man didn't always exist in their present form, neither are they the product of a sudden creative act, but rather the result of innumerable changes from lower to the higher, each step in advance being an evolution from pre-existing conditions. According to evolutionist, life on Earth had emerged, as a unicellular prokaryote, then with the passage of time, variation have been accumulated, new species came into existence. The current higher organizational levels, are the descendant of the earliest unicellular prokaryotes, that might have originated spontaneously. You might wonder which one is correct concept. Theory of special creation, or theory of evolution. It's merely the game of ideologies, none of them can be proved right or wrong. Faith accepts things for which there is no evidence in scientific sense. However, science accepts things for which there is an evidence in scientific sense. And, Scientific truth to the scientists is tentative. But, theological truth to the believer is absolute. Since, then process of special creation, occurred only once, and therefore cannot be observed. Science concern, itself only with observation phenomena, and such will never be able to, prove or disprove special creation. This means that, logically, there can be no intellectual conflict, between scientific, and theological accounts of creation, since they are mutually exclusion realm of thought. Thanks, for watching. Stay tuned. And, support us. Like, share, and subscribe our channel, S, K, W. We will try our best to give simple and effective educational information, via the use of the best animation.